Cheers, Inga from Health Origins here again. Today I've got a recipe of a apple crumble. Okay, so um, let's get on with it. So we've got our ingredients here. Um, we've got about um, four to five cups of apples. So this is apples from our apple trees actually, uh, but they were the ones that had kind of fallen down, like a bit um, still greenish and quite a bit sour. Um, so I think it actually even works best with more sour apples like Brayburn and you know some others. So I've got about four to five uh, cups cut up into uh, pieces. Um, and I've got a cup of um, Demerara granulated brown sugar here. So what I'm going to do, you can also do this in the normal um, pot, uh, pot sorry, on the on the stove, but um, I'm going to do it in my thermal mix because it heats up and it mixes it for me as well. So it, uh, I don't have to keep on stirring it. So I'm going to add the apples to my thermal mix. I'm going to um, add the sugar in, so you would do the same, you know, in your pot. And I'm going to put that on for um, about 10 minutes and let it, you know, continually stir it. So obviously if you do it on the, um, on the stove top, you would um, stir it and um, I'll just put that on for five minutes initially and then I'll I'll, um, I'll check how it's going. So put it on 100 degrees. So you let it kind of boil and then reduce it on simmer and you know keep on stirring it once in a while. So so yeah so while it's doing that I'm gonna get on with the rest of the um, crumble so the topping. So I've got a cup of oats um, a, a cup of orange oats. So I'm adding that. I've got two tablespoons of the same demerara brown sugar. So adding that. I'll add a pinch of, of pink Himalayan salt. Yeah, just a little pinch to uh, get the sweetness out. Um, and then I've got a um, quarter of a cup of uh, coconut milk the one that I've just scooped out of the top of the can. So I'm using this instead of um, kind of margarine or any kinds of, you know, um, refined fats. Um, I, I don't like using them, so I'm using this um, instead. So I'm going to add this to the oats. And basically, the goal now is to... Um, distribute the, um, the coconut milk fat um, across the oats quite evenly so it's kind of nice and um, little crumb, crumb kind of consistency so I'm going to do that for, for a bit and I'll show you how it looks like. Right so um, do as much as you can with a spatula and then um, to finish off you can just get in with your hands and rub the coconut milk into the um, oats to make it like smaller little crumbs just so that it's kind of a bit more even um, and do that until you know the crumbs are about even I would say it's getting definitely getting there so yeah I think that's pretty much okay now so yeah so you see it's kind of more even little crumbs consistency now so yeah so I'm happy with that so we'll um, leave that wait for the apples to finish um, and then we'll um, we'll top the apples in I've got like a glass dish and uh, my oven is on on 200 degrees it's preheating so we're gonna put the apples in top it with the crumble and we're gonna put it in the oven so I'll get back to you in a minute. So it has been 12 minutes. Um, the apple's looking quite done. So they are nice and soft and there's quite a bit of liquid in there now. So I'm going to pour it into the glass container I've got. Okay. 
so distribute them evenly and I'm gonna now top it off with uh, my crumble I'll just do it by hand it's probably gonna be easier and also just to make sure guys that you understood what kind of milk I was using so I was saying coconut milk but what I meant is kind of almost coconut cream really so if you get like a full fat coconut milk can and don't shake it you either leave it to settle in the cupboard or even better in the fridge and then you know stuff on the top will be the cream and underneath there's gonna be the water left so I was using this cream bit okay so I'm going to crumble this evenly on top. And I find it's, um, you know, quite a, a good amount, the cup of oats for this container for me. If you like the crumble bit a lot, then you could perhaps make it, you know, even a, a bigger layer. So, so, this is my crumble done. And now it's going into the oven. On 200 degrees, and I'm going to leave it in there for um, 20 minutes to start with. Okay, so 20 minutes to start with and then we'll check and see. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to start um, getting a bit nice and brown um, on the top. And also I've got um, something else um, that I'm making today. It's a dessert day in our house. So this is um, lemon meringue um, pie. I need to top it with a meringue still, but this is a recipe for next time. Okay. So, um, so wait for 20 minutes and then check on our crumble and see how it's getting on. So, there you go. It's been 20 minutes and it's starting to brown nicely on one edge. And I know that edge burns a bit quicker in my oven. So, I'm going to turn it around and um, give it another 10 minutes and get back to you. Hey, I'm back. And if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, I was doing my yoga session in between making this um, crumble. So yes, we can multitask. Um, so it's been 35 minutes all together for the crumble, so let's have a look. Mm. It's looking pretty delicious. It's got nice caramelized sides. Yes, so I think I'm going to have a little try. It's probably going to be like molten lava uh, <laughs> from the uh, oven. Mm. Yeah, this is good. It will. It would go with, um, really nicely with some um, vegan ice cream, banana ice cream. So yeah. So um, give it a try. Mm. And let me know mm, how did you um, find yours? Did you like it? What apples did you use? And um, see you next time. <laughs>